In this video, I explain how to prepare an aluminium composite panel for oil painting. The aluminium composite panel has several comparative advantages over the wood panel and also over canvas. For starters, it has a rigid support, more rigid than wood and way more rigid than canvas. Therefore, it is very hard to puncture or damage. Besides, the aluminium and the plastic that the panel is made of, they change much less their volume with changes in temperature and humidity. So the cracking of the oil paint film is produced much later than in a wood panel. The history of the use of aluminium composite panels for oil painting dates back only to the past few decades. So, so the reality is that we don't know actually how it's going to behave in the future. The metal that has actually been used as a support for oil painting is copper. And copper we know to be a very good support for oil painting, where cracking is delayed by a long time. And both copper and aluminium, the linear thermal expansion coefficient is small, water is not absorbed and it is hard to oxidize or rust, because aluminium already has an oxide layer in the surface. This is why several experts have promoted the use of these panels. In theory they are the best support. Going back to the aluminium composite panel, this is composed of a sandwich where a layer of plastic, 3 or 4 millimeters thick, is covered on each side by an aluminium plate less than a millimeter thick. The side that's defined as the back is painted, and the front side is coated with a few microns of plastic, and this is where we paint on. Not directly on top of the aluminium, but on top of this plastic. And in order to protect this plastic layer, before its final use, manufacturers cover it with a protection film that is removed before use. The result is a material that is a lot more resistant than the separate components, and it is quite light. This type of panels is used a lot for signs, especially traffic signs. The first manufacturer of this type of panels was 3M, under the brand Dye Bond, which is the best known one. Natural Pigments, under the brand Artifacts, distributes panels for preparation and also ready to use with oil priming. But if, like me, you don't live in the United States, it is not very practical to import the panels that are ready to use. It is best to find a local provider of aluminium composite panels and to request cutting service through cuts with a circular saw and then prepare them. Materials a cut to size aluminium composite panel, 3 or 4 millimeters thick. And 4 is better for very large panels, but if your panel is too large, it will warp anyway, so you will want to have it braced at the back with more aluminium. Sandpaper in 1 to 150 grit and 1 in 2 to 300 grit. I used 150 grit and 320. A little alcohol so you won't sand dry gloves to hold the panel before sanding the edges, a foam roller to apply the primer, and primer. It can be either acrylic gesso or the specially designed lead alkyd ground by Rublev. Procedure. Step 1. With gloves on and the 150 grit sandpaper, I sand the edges so I won't hurt my hands. You see, the saw they use to cut the panel to the size you want leaves sharp and irregular edges, and it's super easy to get hurt with them. That is why it is convenient that first of all we sand the edges. Sanding expels a lot of dust into the air, which one shouldn't breathe. That is why I did the sanding in the balcony of my apartment and wearing a mask. Step 2. I remove the protection film. Step 3. With alcohol and the fine sandpaper, I give a little texture to the panel. This is just to remove the sheen from the surface, and so the primer will have a better grip. Now it is very easy to get to confident sanding, and it is best to err by default than by excess. Step 4. I apply the primer. If you wish to use Rublev lead alkyd ground when removing the lid from the can, one finds that the paint is at the bottom and the dispersant is in the surface. This is normal and you will have to swirl using a rod. It is best to leave a rod just for that purpose because it is best not to touch the lead paint. Alternatively, you can use acrylic gesso. I use gesso for this demonstration, but both materials are applied the same way using a foam roller.
I prefer to apply the primer in the edges too for protection. You leave it out to dry and then you can apply a second and if desired a third layer. You can wash the roller with water if you use gesso and with other less mineral spirits or paint thinner if you use lead alkyd ground. Finally, if gesso is used, you may do a final sanding in order to obtain a smoother surface. It is not recommended to sand if you prime with lead, because when sanding, you liberate lead dust into the air, and this lead dust, when inhaled, causes all the known effects of lead, which are cumulative. You can paint in an absolute minimum of three days, and ideally two weeks at least. This recommendation is valid for both primings. I hope this video has been useful to you. I have a lot of oil painting demonstration videos that you may like to watch. So hugs for you and I'll see you very soon. Don't forget to click on the thumbs up to say you like this video. Subscribe to this channel by clicking the red button and click the bell to receive a notification when I upload a new video. Visit me in social networks, Facebook, Instagram and DeviantArt and in my website www.arielrdh.com. Thanks for watching.